Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a tour of Oceanside, California. Oceanside, California is the little town area directly south of Marine Corps Base Camp Pendleton. Um, this is a very well-known area, so if you're PCSing to Southern California, you're probably going to be familiar with this as far as a potential option for where you could potentially live. Um, this, this video is going to take you through a couple of the neighborhoods in the Oceanside zip code. Um, we're going to go through downtown and then just show you what this area has to offer. It is not an in-depth dive into Oceanside. This is to give you an idea of what you could potentially expect if you decide to live in Oceanside. My name is Ridge Nelson and I'm a VA loan officer here in Southern California, a former Marine, and I'm also on the Military Living in San Diego channel. On this channel, we cover everything you need to know about PCSing to beautiful Southern California. Our goal is to help active duty service members and veterans get relocated from wherever they're coming from to beautiful Southern California. If you have questions about any of this, this is one of the videos you're going to want to watch. Maybe not necessarily Oceanside, maybe just in general, what is Southern California like? This video is going to help you get a good idea of what you can expect. We have people reaching out to us literally every single day. All we do is help military families get relocated out to Southern California. So if you have any questions about this or you're not even sure where to start, please give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or you can use the link in the description below to schedule a Zoom meeting with us and you can talk to our team over Zoom or in person and get the process started. So right now I'm in Oceanside Harbor. Uh, this is just about as close to the main gate on Camp Pendleton as you can possibly get. Um, in the background you can see the harbor. Directly this way on the other side of all the RVs is the ocean. Uh, so let, let's talk about a couple things that might be of interest to you about this area. So number one, if you're coming with a boat, a sailboat, powerboat, whatever you've got, this would be a good option as far as deciding on where you want to live because unlike other areas further south, maybe Carlsbad or Encinitas, you probably have more availability as far as getting a slip for your boat. Um, other activities that you're going to have that come right out of this area are fishing, of course, and then surfing. Surfing up here is not as good as it is further south, but there still is definitely surfing. And then kind of lastly, and this is an obvious one, but you do have a lot of great beach access here too. Um, there's a fair amount of parking right here, maybe a bit more parking than you would have further south, but this is definitely going to be a big draw um, as far as recreation or things that you possibly would be doing when you're not at work. Also is a very strong community as far as um, RV and camping types go. Um, a lot of people travel to this part of California so they can live in their camper vans or their RVs or whatever it may be, either for vacation or permanently. Um, so with that kind of comes a whole nother feel. It, I think it, it's kind of one of the, the staples of, of Southern California and kind of what makes the culture, the culture here and the fact that there's just there's that type of person that enjoys that kind of thing. All right, so I'm on Mission Avenue now, walking away from the ocean. Um, the pier is a couple minutes away from the area I'm at right now, about to cross the railroad tracks. Um, this area is pretty cool because you've got quite a few uh, restaurants and bars that run right along here. There's a number of uh, breweries um, and then actual local restaurants, so not necessarily chain restaurants. You do have your Jersey Mike's and stuff of that nature, but there's stuff that it's actually unique and local to the area. In actual downtown Oceanside, there's quite a few um, luxury condo buildings that are relatively new. If you can see, you can see one there in the background. There's a couple actually. They run all the way along, um, along this area until a few blocks out. This is a good option possibly for housing. However, with these, the purchase price um, and the rent on this is going to be quite a bit higher just because this is a much more desirable area. Um, you're only a few minutes from the main gate at Camp Pendleton. This stuff's a lot nicer. However, you're obviously going to have a greater housing expense. Uh, the further east you get away from, from downtown Oceanside or the further away from the ocean in general, 
the less nice or new things are gonna be. However, um, you're gonna have a lower cost of stuff if you're looking for rental or possibly considering purchasing. All right, so I'm on the 101 right now. Just finished eating at Miss Kim's, which is a little barbecue uh, kind of place, I'd say. It's basically a, a bar that has barbecue. Good place to eat, would recommend eating there. Um, but all the way along the 101, uh, whether you're going north or south, once you're within the first couple miles, um, proximity to base, there's quite a few restaurants, bars, um, little shops, things like that. There's also all the stereotypical things you would expect being right outside a military base, like um, used cars, payday loans, anything, any of those classy <laughs> amenities that you're gonna have um, that surround a main gate of a military base. But once you get into like downtown um, Oceanside, kind of by the pier, it does get pretty nice over there. Um, and then there's some, some of those nicer condos that, that uh, we'll show you in a little bit. All right, so the neighborhood I'm driving around right now is considered Fire Mountain. Fire Mountain is basically on the west side of Oceanside, but still on the east side of the five. So this is as far west as you can get before you cross over the five. This area is very nice, uh, especially when you compare all of the Oceanside um, from really from east to west. This is going to definitely be one of the a little bit nicer areas. Mainly single family homes. There's not really a whole lot of uh, projects or developments. There might be a few HOAs in here somewhere, but for the most part, you take a look at the homes and they all look pretty dissimilar. It doesn't look like you've got a, a whole set of row houses. The home values here are a bit more expensive compared to other areas of Oceanside. Now the area I'm in is Miracosta, which is like the dead center of Oceanside. I'm actually in a little uh, development right now. I think this one's called uh, Villa Trinidad or Trinidad Villas or something like that. But basically these are all single family homes, but they all look very similar, if not the exact same. These are single family homes. However, they do have an HOA. I think the HOA here is about 75 or hundred dollars a month. So when you're thinking about where you're going to stay, considerations such as HOA is an important thing to understand because of course that's going to pay into your total monthly housing expense. Um, this is a good option because this is going to be not as expensive as further uh, further west, closer to the ocean. A lot of these homes in here are single family homes that range from three to four bedrooms, somewhere around two to 2,000 to 2,500 square foot. They're generally around the million dollar mark, um, which all things considered for Southern California to be able to buy a single family home in that price range today in 2022, is actually pretty good. In addition to single family homes, Miracosta does have uh, does have condos and townhomes. So there, there's a pretty wide array of what you can expect here in this part of Oceanside. One thing I will say this part of Oceanside does not have is more of your luxury high-end single family homes, custom homes, things like that. All right, so now I am in the area of Oceanside or the neighborhood called North Valley. North Valley is about 15 minutes from the main gate at Camp Pendleton. And this is another good option as far as uh, possible consideration for where you might want to live. Um, if you decide to pick this area, if you're in a PCS to Camp Pendleton, that this is this is probably a more viable option if you're stationed at Camp Pendleton. If you're stationed at somewhere in San Diego, I highly doubt you're going to want to live up here. Um, you're probably talking an hour, depending on where exactly you live and then where exactly you're working down in San Diego. North Valley has a lot of single family homes. There are a few townhomes, a few condos. Um, the area is, is relatively nice. It has a good feel to it. Um, the lots are a tiny bit bigger, but it, it's really pretty average for the entirety of Oceanside. 
Single family homes ranging from 1,500 square feet to 3,000 square feet. Um, I would say the average is probably a three bed or four, four bed, um, somewhere around the million dollar mark. The homes are anywhere from 10 to 30 years old, but definitely a good area that, that you'd want to check into. If you're PCSing in Camp Pendleton and you're thinking about living somewhere in Oceanside. So right now I'm in uh, Mission Marketplace Shopping Center. This is kind of on the far uh, northeast side of what's considered uh, the Oceanside zip, zip code still. Um, in this area, you've got a lot of restaurants, kind of uh, chain type restaurants, as well as the Walmart and the Target, um, a few other stores that, that you might want, whether that's uh, sporting goods, there's some gyms and stuff over here as well. This is gonna be an area that you want to come if you're looking for stuff that uh, you're not necessarily wanting to get on base at the commissary or PX. It's probably about 15 minutes east of the main gate from Camp Pendleton. So you basically come out of like Oceanside proper or kind of the, the main area right there by the pier, hop on the highway and go east from there. So now I'm at Arrowwood Park, which is where I'm going to get the video wrapped up here. Um, I'm at Arrowwood Park. Behind me is Arrowwood Golf Course, another one of the many golf courses in Oceanside um, to take into consideration if you like golf. Uh, one other thing I forgot to bring up earlier, uh, we are about 15 minutes from the main gate at Camp Pendleton. However, you do have the Vandegrift Gate, which is basically right here, right in North Valley. Depends on where you work on base, so this might not be that big a deal, but maybe you work at a spot on base that this does help you out some as far as your commute goes. So we went through um, a few different neighborhoods, uh, went through downtown, kind of covered what Oceanside has to offer. In general, Oceanside is a really, really is a stellar option if you are going to be stationed at Camp Pendleton and your main concern is your commute because everywhere in Oceanside, you're gonna have a pretty reasonable, um, it, actually you're probably gonna have the shortest drive into base to work that you're going to have if you're not outright living on base. Oceanside also has all the amenities that you'd want. You've got pretty much all your big box stores, um, either here or right into Carlsbad. Uh, you have the restaurants, you've got a bit of a nightlife. Remember, it's not like you're going out in Gaslamp District in San Diego, but you do have some stuff here. Um, Oceanside does have a lot of great options just across the board. So if you're thinking about where should I live on PCSing to Camp Pendleton in particular, definitely consider Oceanside. And of course, if you have more questions about this, please do not hesitate to reach out. Um, that's what we're here for. We know we, we've been here, we live here, we understand the area. So we are going to be your eyes and ears on the ground prior to you PCSing out here so we can help you get that stuff figured out. Again, my name's Ridge Nelson and I'm a VA loan officer. I'm on the Military Living in San Diego team. All we do is help military service members and veterans get situated in homes out here in Southern California. We've been through the PCS process. We know the deal. We know what you're going through and we know what kind of questions you have. So if we can help you out or you know someone that you think we could help out with this process, please do not hesitate to reach out. We have people that reach out literally every single day to ask us these questions. That's what we're here for. Give us a call, shoot us a text, email us, or you know you can even schedule a Zoom with us in the, in the link below. And we'll help you get squared away. We've got your back when you're PCSing to Southern California.